Realtor Carl Miller with Dalton & Company. We are going to talk about the home inspection. The home inspection, yeah. yeah. As a seller, how to successfully navigate through a home inspection. So typically what will happen is there's three common types of requests that will come in. Once the inspection is done, the report's issued, the buyer gets a copy of it. They usually talk about it with their realtor. And then the buyer's agent will then submit that request to the seller and or to the seller's agent. So the three common requests is, number one, they'll ask the seller to make the fixes. I'll just say, hey, look, here's the four items. We want you to have mm-hmm. these all fixed paid for by a licensed contractor done before closing so we don't have to deal with it. So that's one. Another way that buyers will sometimes ask to have issues addressed is ask for a seller credit or even the funds required to make the fixes after closing at the buyer's expense. Let's say there's an electrical issue, like this is a common one, the cable coming off the outside of the house where it goes into the meter, it might be all frayed and exposed and it's mm-hmm. something that has to be either replaced or retaped, just as an example, if the sun's been beating on it for 30 years. Mm-hmm. So they may say, listen, we'll do it after closing, but pay my electrician, just cut them a check. Are you still giving the asking price, but this is, or right, whatever they right. agree because the contract terms aren't changing. The contract was mm-hmm. based on X price subject to mm-hmm. an inspection contingency. So we don't have to go back and change the price. In this case, we could just give them a credit or pay a contractor at closing. At closing, now the seller has the seller proceeds. You can instruct the closing attorney to issue a check to the contractor for X amount of dollars that it will take to remediate the problem. So that's the second way. And the third way is you can also go back to the contract itself and say, we want to lower the price of the home. Mm-hmm. And that is a little more rare, especially especially when there's a lender involved, because now we have to explain to the underwriters why the price is being lowered. But at the same time, it is a way that can also solve the problem. How do they get in touch with you? Call us at the office or check out our website. It's 434-239-2394. Again, 434-239-2394. You can also go to our website, which is carlmillerteam.com. Carl with a K. Carl Miller with Dalton & Company. You got it. Thank you, Patty.